after pregnancy, a new journey called breastfeeding is starting immediately after birth. Breastfeeding is one of the most effective ways to ensure child health and survival. The production of breast milk is one of the greatest miracles of the female body and is synchronized with pregnancy. When the baby suckles, the mother's body is stimulated by nerve endings in the nipple that tell her pituitary gland to release two hormones, prolactin and oxytocin. Prolactin causes your alveoli to take nutrients from your blood supply and turn them into breast. While oxytocin causes muscle contractions that push the milk out of the alveoli and through the milk ducts. This process is called the letdown reflex. Which means, the more milk the baby consumes, the more milk the mother's body will produce. This is also a natural balance. When the baby empties the breast during feeding, it signals to the body to produce more milk to meet the baby's needs. When the area around the baby's mouth is stimulated, a reflex causes the baby to open its mouth and start suckling. When the nipple is placed on the baby's tongue, the baby's lips flare, opening wide toward the outside of the nipple. At this situation, the baby takes the mother's entire areola into its mouth. The mother should try to insert the nipple deep enough that the entire nipple, including the areola, is in the baby's mouth. The baby's tongue starts to make an undulating motion called peristaltic motion. At the same time, the mother's entire nipple begins to extend out from and contract back into the areola to move the milk down from within the breast out through the nipple. The baby does all the work with the lower jaw and tongue. This is why he needs a big mouthful of breast and to be suckling on the areola below the nipple. Without both these motions which may be constricted by a tongue tie, breastfeeding may become difficult and painful. Tongue tie which also known as ankyloglossia is when the tongue is stuck to the floor of the mouth preventing adequate mobility which leads to an ineffective lactation. With tongue tie, the tongue tip does not extend over the gum causing the newborn's gum to chew on the nipple during feeding. In the natural cycle, the baby regulates the flow of milk by compressing the nipple with the tongue. First, baby's tongue drops, increasing suction. Milk flows through the nipple duct and into the baby's mouth. Then the baby raises the tongue. This compresses the nipple, stopping the flow of milk and allowing the baby to swallow. At the first days after delivery, the breasts produce first form of milk, yellowish in color called colostrum, which is highly concentrated and contains antibodies and other immune factors to provide the baby with essential protection. It also prevents allergies and infection. Colostrum helps clear the first stool and reduce jaundice. Starting breastfeeding in the first hour after birth is important, even if your baby was born by C-section. Thanks for watching this video. Please watch our pregnancy journey to see what's going on in the womb during pregnancy. Don't forget to subscribe.